an amazing film called Phulan Devi. And who was the Indian character. That's yeah. right. <laughs> so your interest in that film, is it because of the woman whose story we are telling? Or is it because of the people who are making the film? I guess each of them needs each other. Each part needs each other without having one. The thing is not complete. The cycle is not mm. complete. Fulan Devi, for me, is the symbol. Mm. She, she wasn't a woman. She's a legend. Yes. Right? Okay. To the eyes of the people, the eyes of society, she was outlaw. Mm. She was murderer. She was bandit. She was doing a lot of things wrong. But exactly because of that, she won such a popularity that to the eyes of the people, she became the reincarnation of God, God mm. Durga, mm. Yeah, become, become the reincarnation. And she was, she was dynamic. And she was a paradox to me. Whatever I say, she, her life was full of crime and right. violence and everything. But the thing is, who would have thought? Mm. She had no internet. She had no facilities that we have today. Which Telephone was not or whatever. Educated. Exactly. She yeah. was coming from very low caste, mm. you know, in a small village. What went to her head that she turned to be a rebel? Mm. You see, these are the questions. So she is the best role model for the people, for the women, that they right. are unaware of their humanistic right today. That Yes, you can change your caste. Yes, you can stand against abuse, against the pain, against the injustice today, mm -hmm. which nobody is talking about. She talked about unspeakable. She talked about a lot of things that it would not even come into the people's mind those days. I think what you are doing with the funding of the film to bring her story to the people, I think it's commendable. You have no connection with that country. You have no connection with the people who are making it, yet you're pouring money into it. Yes, but I am a woman. Yes. I understand her. I feel her. And I get her pain. I feel the pain through my bones. I've been through that part of the world, not India. I'm talking about Middle East. More than half of my life, I have seen the crime, the injustice, mm. the abuse all the time. Nobody can do anything about mm. it. So maybe that is a time if we can get our message to the woman's ears, to the to the rest in the rest of the world, and tell them this is the voice, this is the awareness, right? To let them know what they don't know. Mm. We can accomplish our mission. 